Hey Zane. What? Do you know what day it is? Oh, I do. It's Friday. Which is second part! That's right! Meh, 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 air horns. And today we're gonna have a little bit of Jorge Decal. Yeah, I think he's an Italian Frenchman that came out of southwestern New Hampshire. Actually, he's from Tennessee and it's bottled and bond. I totally missed that one then. So this week, you know, we had a pastor over. Yeah, we, we did. We had a little bit of this. Ah, it's midge. But today we're gonna review it on second four right after this. So, Jeffrey. Yeah. It's second pour. Yes, it is. And sometimes we need to do things like this. Like what? I'm Zane. And I'm Jeff. And that's all I have to say about that. Because today's second pour, and we're gonna have George Dickel bottled in bond. Now, yes. this is the fall 2007 distilled. Now, this is the, I'm gonna hunt for a George Dickel. This is the one I'm hunting for. For this year. Hey. It's a 13 year. Okay. So this is some really aged statement whiskey in aged, a George Dickel bottle. Bottled in bond on top of that. That means for 13 years, the government oversaw this bitch. Well, shit. <laughs> so before I pour it, this is a 50% ABV, okay, obviously right. 100 proof. Mash bill is 84% corn, 8% rye, 8% malted barley, aged 13 years, distilled and bottled by Cascade Hollow Distilling Company. And it runs around $45. And if you want to know why we say, of course it's 100%. Uh, 100 proof? 100 proof. 50%? That's math. <laughs> it's because of this video right here. Oh, you just love that in post. Oh, well, we'll put it up there anyway. It, but I, before we do anything else, we probably should pour it. I think we should pour this. Now, Diageo actually owns Dickel. I did not know this. I like how you know how to say Diageo. Diageo. So, I know this week when we had it with, with Pastor Doug. Yeah. We, uh, I remember it tasting pretty good. It was not bad in my memory. So, but we had a lot of whiskey that night. There was quite a few. I had a lot of a particular whiskey that night, but. Yes, yeah, strain of hands if I remember right. I mean, come on, uh, you know. But I think, let's try this, let's smell it. Let's do it. Let's do our thing, right. you know, our thing. It's our thing. Our thing, we smell it. Snort, taste. Yeah, and, and then, then we tell you how much it. we like it or don't like yeah, it. Yeah, that's it. Right. Now, now from the nose, it's a pretty standard whiskey for me. Yeah. A little caramel, brown sugar. Oh, but there's something in the back. There's yeah, I definitely get a back I, I definitely get a fruit or a, a like fruit? A, like an apple or something. Oh, okay. Mine's almost a dark fruity, so like plum or something like that. But oh yeah. Yeah, there's I like the way this smells. This is a nice I like to call this, it has an orchard smell to it. An orchard. Like an orchard of apples, orchard of Hey, that's pears. what I can just say, orchard, and it'll be right if it's got any kind of fruity notes. See, that's how you do things it's like that. fruity, all right. <laughs> all right. So, so I, that's what I'm smelling, but what are they saying I'm supposed to be smelling? It says caramel. Okay. That's what I think I'm smelling in the back. Milk chocolate. Milk chocolate. Shortbread cookie and candied ginger. Well, clearly there was no orchard in that smell. Like, I don't smell no say. apples in that. Now, the well, milk chocolate, if you, it reminds me of the milk chocolate we used to drink when we were kids out of the little bitty paper carton cartons. Maybe. It's yeah. in the back. Yeah. I, now, here's what's interesting. This is a 13-year age statement whiskey. Yeah. If you notice, it does not burn on that. There is not a lot of ethanol burn on that nose. I wonder why that is. I mean... The age statement, right? I would think it softened awesome, over maybe, that yeah, time. Maybe so. I say, you know what we should probably do? We should probably taste this. We should probably try try it. Taste it. Yeah. All right. All right, let's do this. I really feel like some of that chocolate is coming through. I really do. Chocolate, caramel, sweet. Not a lot of oak. No. It's interesting that it drinks smooth, but then burns in the chest way afterwards. Yeah, it's a nice little hug, right? Yeah. That's a good 100 proof whiskey. Yeah, it's right not there. it's not slapping your mouth off, yeah. though. <laughs> what he said. What he said. No, but I mean, this is a really tasty for George Dickel. Yeah, I I, I, I mean, I, I don't not like it. I'm surprised. Honestly, I thought I'd just spit it right back out. Let's see what they say the palate is on this. All right, let's do it. Vanilla. 
cherry, almond, oak, and leather. It's like me the second time I remember we've had a, a whiskey recently that has almond on the yeah, palate. Yeah, I just, you know, honestly, I'm not getting a lot of the oak and... I'm not getting the leather and the oak. I mean, cherry maybe, the vanilla was there, but that's, I mean, come on, this is back to that caramel, vanilla, oak. Those are your three basic elements of a bourbon. Yeah, I, I would think they're probably more accurate with just the almond note yeah i would i would because it's that. not that strong no like if you if you dilute leather and oak you might yeah. get the taste of all yeah <laughs> i mean it's just right. kind of like like that yeah. maybe but you know it's it's an easy drink yeah you know 13 year age statement easy drink how much was that 45 dollars so 45 bucks for an easy drink i mean I don't know very many age statement whiskeys that are $45 or less. But you know, it's like that thing. It's like, it's still just fucking George Dickel. It's like they've really done well with what they do to make this whiskey, comparatively. Mm -hmm. But it's still just a George Dickel whiskey. But there's a lot of Dickel fans. I mean, Dickel's been around a long ass time. And Diageo bought it, which means they see a lot of value in it over I mean, these are the guys that own Guinness and Lockable. And yeah. So they see a lot of value in owning this company. Well, did you, if you drank this honestly, did you think that you would have guessed it was aged statement, an age statement? Like an old the only thing that throws me to the fact that it's got an age statement to it, not it's necessarily smooth. 13, is how smooth it is. Age statement, as it gets older, mm -hmm. so anything over, I'd say about seven, starts to have, starts to smooth out a little bit. On top of that, you can tell this is Tennessee process because it's charcoal filtered. So it's, Charcoal filter is supposed to make whiskey smoother. Yeah, but go drink that ghost wood, which is young. You no, know, not necessarily that ghost wood. It's anywhere between four to 12 years. But it's, it's not. I don't know. So what I'm getting at is like, it's definitely. But I wouldn't say that because it's 13 years, it's made a big difference. I think no. it's just kind of eased the edges of this whiskey. It's like you take George Dickel and you allow it to go ahead and mature. Yeah. Because George Nichols is just not that great in general, and so it takes a not that great and makes it like, oh, this is good. I think the I think the I think that master distiller they hired has really helped them, mm -hmm. because before that people weren't giving Dickel. <laughs> well, it was yeah. mixing whiskey anyway. I mean. Yeah. So yeah. So now they are actually turning it into a sip. This is a sippable whiskey. Oh yeah. I mean, I would not. Uh, I would not not drink it. There's a. Mm -hmm. It's not like that at all. Now, the, the gal who developed this new Bile and Bond won the award back in 2019. That was right, one, that's what you were telling me. That one blew up. Yeah. This one is having the same kind of impact this year. People are really attaching this one like that 2019 mm -hmm. one. I can see why. Now, we just we just drank it, but there's still that linger. In the chest, right? Yeah, and so the finish, I still feel like it's different than what the front end of the sip was. Now that's something that maybe, maybe it's just my my palate today, but I feel like it's very closed off at the finish. Yeah, it's really, it's a, it's a dry quick finish. Mm -hmm. The hug is, no, the, hug's the hug lingers, yeah, but, that's but just the, the finish is kind of this quick dry finish. Um, the flavor on the finish is pretty, even more subtle than the other, the nose and the palate. Now they say the finish on this is dark chocolate, maple syrup, and pecan. It's, I feel like this is one of those whiskeys that this is where we want to be. I don't know if we're getting there though. It's just. But here's the thing, it's not a bad. What no, they're no, telling no. me and what I'm getting don't match up. Like if, if I was just drinking this whiskey, right? Yeah. The first thing I'm thinking would not be, this is a confused whiskey. Yeah, it's not a confused whiskey. However, I feel like what they're telling me I'm supposed to I'm be not drinking that, is confusing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's one of those cases where you yeah. look at the notes from the distiller and you're like, well, that's not what I'm getting. Yeah. So either I'm broken today. I might be broken today. I think that's what it is and I will chalk it up to me being broken. Yeah, we're broken today. But is this a bad whiskey? I think our review is gonna have to decide that. All right, I mean, so let's talk it through. If you're new to second pour, we grade everything on a five finger pour. So that's one pour being it's a good whiskey. Up to a five pour, it means we are really yeah, we loving this right. whiskey. So let's review this. Yeah. I don't necessarily love this whiskey. Yeah, okay. So, I, I mean, 
I'm I'm not uh, disfavoring it. I mean, I've rated uh, a lot of one finger whiskeys that are way below this one. Oh yeah, hands down. Way by, below. by that. Um, and if I just stayed at a at a two, let's say, mm -hmm. um, I think that it's it would be, you know, I'm really actually running out of words here. It's just there's something there that's good. You just can't kind of pinpoint. What yeah, it is. and so I just don't, I just don't think it's got enough to take it to a three. I got to leave it at a two for me. Okay. Well, I was gonna give it a two point five. So okay. it's not quite a three for me, but it's I'm the same way you are. There seems to be something there that makes me want to drink it. Yeah. But it's not what they're telling me. I suppose because they're, they're not telling it. us the truth. There's pickles in this. <laughs> it's only eight percent rye, so it is a not a high rye. So. <laughs> I smell pickles. So this isn't a bad whiskey. Yeah. And no. it, it's not a great whiskey, but it's not a bad whiskey. I can. I'm really. I've never had the 2019. I have not either. I, so. If I ever ran across a bottle, I'd like to try it. Um, but as far as Dickel goes, I've never really been a fan of Dickel. No. This is better. Oh, oh yeah. and Better than the other Dickels. I'm being I've clear. It's like, I didn't think this was a bad whiskey. It's not like that. It's just, yeah. um, it doesn't just ring all the bells to really rate it up very high for me. And that's it. It's a whiskey like, yeah, that was good. What's next? Yeah. Which is pretty I, much. I would be appreciative of getting the opportunity oh, to thanks. taste it. Yeah, that was good. And, yeah. You know? yeah. What else you got? Yeah. So the more snooty I get, the lower the ratings get. Isn't that how it goes? That's probably, we are pretty snooty by this point. Yeah, so what right. about you? Have you had George Dickel the 2019 or have you had this year's George Dickel bottle of Bond? Um, it's a really tasty whiskey. Is it mm -hmm. something that we're going to grab all the time? We no. don't know. But we're not giving it a bad rating. We're just saying it's a, it's another good whiskey out in the marketplace. Yeah, if you get a chance, get it on the cheap, whatever, you're not going to be. Yeah, don't go pay a aftermarket premium for it. Yeah, there's no reason to. 45 bucks seems about right for this yeah. whiskey. So in the meantime, you guys continue to be cool this week. Be sure to get some whiskey, drink with some friends, drink safe with some friends. And in the meantime, cheers. Cheers. cheers.